Good morning. Welcome to the FTS Bet Slip on Saturday the 23rd of May. Um, I was going to have a single eye, I just haven't got time. I've got too much on with the football and spreadsheets and Excel and everything else. And racing might be starting in a week's time, so we've got to be ready for that. Um, a couple of people messaged me yesterday about, I don't even know, I haven't read it. I haven't been on Twitter much in the last couple of days. Um, I did see this morning old Cummings. Um, he's a horrible little man. See, he got uh, uh, allegedly, I'm going to say allegedly, breaking the lockdown rules and people saying he's got to go. Not a chance he goes. Just the nature of the man. I cannot, I will be, I'll be prepared to eat my words, but I'll be staggered if he goes. He is a horrible little parasite. Now, they're all bellends. I keep telling you, fucking anybody to do with that Johnson is a bellend. Um, but a couple of people messaged me re stats again, and I don't know that something blew up yesterday, but I genuinely have not looked about um, tipsters online. Um, I don't get involved in it. I keep telling you, you will not find me on Twitter. Years ago on the website, I did call people out. Years ago, I'm going back to 2008, 2009, and it caused me nothing but aggravation. Um, nonsense systems. That, you know, I mean, I don't even know if these ebook sales people and that still go on. Um, you know, we've moved on a lot from what we do now with FTS, and I just, I, one, I haven't got time for it, and two, you're just pissing into the wind. Um, the bottom line with these stats, you know, but football betting has changed massively over the years. You know, you used to go in a bookmakers and there was 120% over rounds, and then Betfair came in and it was 110%, uh, 100%. 102% so they had to change their ways then uh, then people did start betting on stats and this that and the other and then obviously they're widely available now we've got XG mathematical models everything moves on um, and and the problem with those stats is when something is 100 percent you know I say to, it doesn't matter what it is you've got to be able to relay it to a price it doesn't matter what method you're following just because somebody says this has happened 10 times before doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't can don't have to even relate to football. Just because somebody says this has happened ten times before, so now that makes it this price. That's wrong, fundamentally wrong, and you've got to understand that. Just because something's happened ten times before doesn't make it that price in that game. Then, um, whatever it may be, you know, you know the late the best one is they add in two scores together in it. Like they were eight out of ten over two and a half, and they are eight out of ten over two and a half. So that means this game's an eighty percent chance. Absolute nonsense. Um, but it doesn't matter what it is. So whatever method you're using, you've got to try and find a sensible way of relating it, modelled way in effect to a price for it to happen, and then you can compare that price. And that goes whatever. Um, but. With regard to stats, this 100% and, and this has done that, it's human nature. If you just watch, um, I mean, obviously I've spent a lot of time in Vegas and Paul and I, if we go to the football, we'll quite often meet up at Aspers and have a beer. Just watch people play roulette. That's the, that's the prime example. I mean, I've played roulette. Don't deny it. I play for fun. I play around my birthday number, number 26. That's it. But you watch people who play and they know that it's um, 35 to 1 they're getting paid out on a 37 to 1 shot. They know when they're betting black or red that there's greens on the board. Um, but you watch it if you get a run of blacks and a run of reds. Um, so let's say you've had eight blacks on the trot. Now, funnily enough, when I was, I did look at Twitter the other day, somebody had, I don't know who it was, generally can't remember, but somebody had complained to Skybet. Uh, they put a screenshot, Skybet, what's this? Um, eight even numbers on the spin on the roulette, and they'd taken a screenshot of it, scamming twats or something, um, as if eight numbers of even numbers in roulette can't come out on the spin. Um, nonsense. But you watch how people act at a roulette table when you get a run of reds or a run of blacks or a run of high numbers or a run of low numbers or a run of even numbers or a run of odd numbers. The, the bets on the flip side of that, so let's say there's been 10 even numbers on the trot, you'll see the stack of chips on odd go up and up and up. If it's red and black, you know, that's the most famous one. You'll see if it's been 10 reds, blacks. I've been in a casino, seen 15, 20 of one colour come out. That's an absolute fact. I've seen it happen. Um, and I've seen it more than once. It can happen. Now, if you went round the table telling those people... Um, 
excuse me mate it's exactly the same chance as the last spin of that being black or red again uh you're probably just going to get told to fuck off aren't you um that's the mentality people want to believe in that and that's exactly the same so as 100 percent over two and a half of the last five games they've been over two and a half so they will the sixth one um it's how the human brain is wired how it works um we know it's wrong and it's tiresome chasing around after these people what you try and do is tell the people listening to this podcast for me or the people who are members of fts you know it's wrong so don't do it but um, I'm certainly not going to get involved in I mean, somebody sort of what do you think I'm not going to get involved in it it's it's just not for me I've not genuinely haven't got the time um, I just had a conversation with one of my mates Gary on here I said look at the time I posted the FDD sheets you know you, every day on FDD you can see what time the sheets go up that's me 4.23 in the morning this morning I put them up I have not got time to enter into petty little debates with Twitter gamblers about this, that and the other. It just does not interest me. The sooner that people realise to focus on what they're doing, do do what suits you, get a plan and do it, the better you will be. That is what I will tell you. And I don't care who you're following, what you're using, if you can't relate it to some sort of price, you are going to find yourself behind the eight ball. Um, and that is, so I don't care. I don't care what they're telling you. I just genuinely don't care what they're telling you. If that is how you're going to operate, you are going to find yourself behind the eight ball. You can believe me, not believe me, and say he said this, whatever. Not getting involved in it. I'm just telling you that is an absolute fact. Um, right there. See, consider yourself bollocked. Right, no, not bollocked. Just informed, hopefully. Um, right, where are we at? Uh, right, let's go through the football. So I've given you today. Let's get my sheets up. Bear with me a second. Uh, one thing I've got to do, see some more fucking um, sales emails. I, I set up an email for all that shit and it seems to be getting, had a little spell on GDPR where it didn't get attacked, but now it does seem to keep getting a load of old shit come through. Just had one arrive there now. Um, right, what have we got here? We have got, I've given you Freiburg this morning, uh, in the week. Um Freiburg as a home win. Um, I've got nothing else in the Bundesliga. I think obviously there'll be goals at Wolfsburg, Dortmund. Um, I've got slight value on Wolfsburg, but uh, none of the prices really appeal to me. Um, so won't be doing that. Um, and the game that's interesting, and the game I think there's mixed views, is Gladbach Leverkusen. I've seen uh, I've seen comments both ways that uh, Gladbach big price, Leverkusen decent price. Um, I've got not much in it, but I have got tiny value on uh, Leverkusen away. Um, but it's a game that I've got no, wouldn't have a bet in. I'm just going to stand back and watch. Hopefully, be quite a good game. Um, I might flick it on the TV till I get bored of the no crowd scenario, but. Um, yeah, I think I think the match odds pretty show the 2.54 Gladbach, 2.8 Leverkusen. I've just got a slight value on Leverkusen, but not anything that makes me want to reach out and have a bet. But I have got a uh, couple for you in the Bundesliga 2, kicking off at midday. Um, Bundesliga 2, let's have a look. Uh, I've got Darmstadt as value home to St. Pauli. Uh, Darmstadt as value home to St. Pauli. Uh, when I did it, their Betfair odds were 2.76. So Darmstadt home to St. Pauli. Um, anything really above sort of 2.6 would be uh, a bet that you could get involved with. Let me just change that. I'm just going to... Yeah, that's fine. Absolutely fine. Anything above 2.6 on Darmstadt, home to St. Pauli. Um, and in uh, Sandhausen, SV Sandhausen versus Jan Regensburg, uh, over two and a half goals. So you uh, is currently, when I looked, it was 1.77. So that's one that you may just want to let it get to 
around the two point naught mark, drip in uh, over two and a half goals, and then remove your liability um, either on the first goal or the second goal. Quite often, I'll let the first goal go in. You're now below your entry price, and you can let it move back up. You basically have got a free ride. You can still get out at any time up until it hits your price again um, and see if the second goal comes, and then you trade in much lower. Um, but that's however you play it is down to you. Sandhausen versus Regensburg. So Darmstadt at home and Sandhausen Regensburg over two and a half. Um, added to we've got the lay of Hamburg, which is tomorrow, and we've got Freiburg, which is uh, home win today. Um, the two I mentioned yesterday, Nuremberg over one and a half that came in, and the. Uh, I mentioned the Belarus game laying um, whoever they were, Mozilla, and they um, they didn't win, they drew, didn't they? So if anybody did play those, then hopefully you did okay. Um, that's it. I think that is it. I've got nothing. I've not done any books. Really. I've been up doing the football, so I've not done any books or any of that. Um, it is going to get... Uh, shorter at the weekends it will just be more betting info as we move uh, next week again got more leagues starting um, so it will be back to that and then I will save the weekday stuff for um, all the other bits and pieces bits and bobs but we've got um, as I say midweek football Tuesday um, as well so I'll be doing everything then um, yeah no have a good uh, Saturday I hope if you're punting that it comes off well I, um, King Kenny said yesterday he doesn't feel like having a bet that's absolutely fine as I said you've got to be cautious uh, certainly on last week's performance it didn't look like it affected anything but this is the next round of fixtures different teams at home in empty stadiums um, so caution is advisable oh and I did forget the poker uh, we didn't do poker last night because there was football on last night and I was uh, trading that but there is um, poker tomorrow night 7 30 so it's poker sunday um on poker stars i'll put the link up on twitter later um but do come and join us if you're in the club you've just got to log in go to the club lobby and um click register for the tourney tomorrow evening after the football's all finished right have a lovely saturday good luck with your bets as i say and i will be back with you um tomorrow morning sometime <laughs>